Hey guys, thank you so much for coming in. Just want to declare God has amazing things in store for you. And like you the seen, beautiful, right? This Kingfisher flight, which I got just for the recording, by the way. And, you know, like you might have always known that, you know, God speaks to me through different things. And uh, being an aerospace engineer and being a person who loves aircrafts because they look so cute and just dream about flying all the time. Um, I want you to just uh, get to something that I want to share with you from uh, how a plane flies. Now, this way you will also learn something about how an aircraft flies. At the same time, you will also know, um, you know, something about what you can apply into your everyday life. So let's come to the point, uh, all right? Now, if you take any other um, uh, modes of transport, whether it's a train or a bus or a vehicle on the road or a, or a ship, they're all, if you see by the end of the day, two-dimensional, okay? So they go straight, they take a left or right. So it's always two-dimensional. But an aircraft is not two-dimensional. An aircraft is some, a form of transport which is three-dimensional. That means when a fl plane is flying, it can go to the left or to the right, or it can go up or it can go down or it can also sway, okay, like this. So there are diff three, it's a three-dimensional sphere in which a plane flies. So you know where a plane is supposed to be? It's not supposed to be on the ground. A plane is not supposed to be on the waters. A plane is supposed to soar high, right? A plane is supposed to go uh, above the clouds and that's where its original place is that's where it is designed to be and if you see in the scripture the bible says in isaiah that you and i as children of god are called to soar high like an eagle so you and i are all planes in our own ways okay so if you're watching with somebody turn to your neighbor and say you are an aeroplane <laughs> so i want you to understand that that's the same way uh we, this plane flies, you and I are called to fly. You and I are called to soar high. So what are some principles you can la uh, learn from an aircraft and apply to our life that will help us in soaring high like an eagle? Point number one, if you notice about an aircraft, is there are four forces that act on an aircraft. Okay, four forces. One is called the lift, okay, L-I-F-T, so which acts on the upward direction. So, which causes the aircraft to go up, basically. So there's force called lift. Then there's another force that is acting on the exact opposite direction that's called weight, which causes the, which go, uh, causes the plane to go down in, in a literal sense, okay? And there's another force called thrust, T-H-R-U-S-T, which goes in this direction. And there's the opposite direction you have another force called drag okay so if you see this is the basics of an aircraft i'm not going too deep so don't worry if a plane has to fly okay there are four forces that act on it at any given point of time one is the lift the weight the thrust and the drag and you know based on the logics a plane has to go up that means the lift should be greater than the weight and the trust, if it needs to move forward faster, the trust need to be greater than the drag. So this is the simple principle for our everyday life. Okay, there's something powerful here. If you see a plane has to go up, I said you have to, the weight has to be reduced, or in other words, uh, the force. Okay, I'm not talking about the weight in sense of the weight. I'm saying the force that the lift should be greater than the weight. Simple, right? So, um, so in other words, if you need to go up, the first thing you need to check is, what are the things that are causing you to go down? What are the things that are weighing you down? Today, you may have a lot of things that are weighing you down. Maybe it's unforgiveness, maybe it's bitterness, maybe it's a sin that you struggle through, and maybe it's, um, you know, a burden that you are worried about, maybe it's anxiety, maybe it's fear, maybe it's a limited thought process. So I want you to identify what are the things that are weighing you down today. 
You know, the scripture puts it this way, cast all your cares, cast all your weight upon the Lord. Today I'm telling you the first key is, you know, whatever is weighing you down, lay it down at the feet of the Lord. Lay it down and say, you know what, I don't want to carry all this weight because he already carried it on the cross. So today you as a child of God, you don't have to carry all the burden, the uh, uncertainty, the fear, the frustration, you know, uh, the hurts. I'm asking you today to weigh it down. Let go of it. Don't let those simple things keep you from the big things God has in store for you. And the second thing you need to see is, right, as I said, the weight has to reduce. Okay, whatever is weighing you down, let go of it. And secondly, the drag has to reduce. If you need to move forward, you have to ensure that the trust is greater than the drag. So what are the things that are dragging you today? Maybe it is a limited thought process. Maybe it's a feeling of giving up. Maybe it's thinking that, no, I don't think it's ever going to happen. Maybe it's an issue where you are not able to have the confidence and the trust and the reliance upon the Lord that, yes, I know I can move forward. Or you're just getting stuck somewhere. Today, I want you to identify what are those areas that you need to let go of. What are the areas that you need to um, allow, get yourself unstuck so that you will move forward? It could be a limiting environment. It could be a, a limiting group of friends or family or um, you know, just the, your thought process. Whatever it is, check yourself. What are the things that are dragging you when you're supposed to be running forward? You know, that's the key you need to look at. If you are able to let go of the things that are weighing you down, if you are able to let go of the things that are dragging you, and you need to see, work on your trust. What is trust? Of course, the word here, trust, is T-H-R-U-S-T, but I want you to change it to T-R-U-S-T. In other words, increase your trust upon the Lord. <laughs> Very simple, right? It's amazing. So, instead of, you know, having the things that are weighing you down, okay, the weight of the world, Learn to trust in God and start waiting upon God. Okay, W-A-I-T. So I'm literally playing with words here. So the more you start trusting in the Lord, the more you start getting to know Him. So simple truth is this. People say, you got to trust God. you got to trust God. How can you trust God when you get to know God? See, if I come and tell you randomly, trust me, trust me, trust me, you are going to slap me because you are going to say, I don't even know you, John. But if you know me, automatically you're going to trust me, right? That's the same thing. The more you learn to trust God and you keep moving forward, you keep taking the step saying, you know what, I don't see a way, but I still take one day at a time trusting that God will lead me. I want you to understand at the right moment, He's going to lift you. Amen? That's the thing. The, that's why the Bible says in Isaiah, you know, those who wait upon the Lord, those who wait, that's what I'm saying. Instead of uh, carrying the weight of the world, learn to wait upon Him and trust Him. What happens automatically, you will soar high like an eagle. You will go above the mountains. You will go above the clouds. You will go into new layers of atmosphere where the enemy cannot come and attack you. Today I'm encouraging each one of you to listen to this and check yourself, introspect yourself. What are the factors that are weighing you down? What are the factors that are dragging you? And say, God, help me to trust you and to wait upon you. When you do that at the right time, just as an aircraft takes off into another level, you're going to soar high into another level of your destiny. Hope this message blessed you, encouraged you, taught you something. I want you to introspect yourself and ensure that this message makes an impactful life, uh, meaning into your life and you are seeing a transformation. And if you've never done this before, like this uh, video, comment on it, share it, subscribe to this channel if you've not done so. I uh, would love to hear from you as well. May God bless you. Amen. And before I leave, I want to just tell you about my book. It is still available. Uh, on Amazon and Flipkart and a lot of people are getting it. If you're not done so, um, go through and get it as well. For more details, you can always contact me as well. May God bless you. Amen.